Corcoran State Prison has a reputation for being one of the most dangerous in the state, but a local college is trying to change the culture while giving inmates a second chance. 23 ABC's Brandon Johansson traveled to Corcoran to see this class firsthand. There's a lot to be learned behind bars. Okay. You learn from your past, from your mistakes. That's the, that's the Midland? Right. Okay. But here at Corcoran State Prison, you can also learn in the present. Range, uh, range 30 of 30 West. West. There you go. There you go. Jimmy and Jose are learning and doing things that they never expected. God, no, not, not doing geology. No, not at all. Not at all. And no. it's all thanks to a program that's changing the culture behind prison walls. And after a while, it's going to change the outlook on inmates, and they're going to start doing this as well. It's not going to be as violent as it used to be because education changes people way of thinking. It's the Bakersfield College Inmate Scholar Program. Are you serious? And it's something that Chelsea Escobius truly believes in. You can really see their humanity come back alive or their hope come back alive. It's pretty simple. Faculty from Bakersfield College volunteer to come in and teach transfer level courses to inmates, giving them a chance to earn their AA degree and hopefully giving them a path to take when they get out to keep them from coming back in. If you take 100 people right from prison and you send them home, the recidivism rate or the return to prison is around 78%. So within five years, we're seeing the same people come back into prison over and over again. The program began in 2015 and they now have classes in 10 local prisons, serving upwards of 800 students right now. Escobias says that the classroom setting forces inmates to communicate with each other in ways that they never would in the yard. In a classroom, you have to figure out how to get along, and now you're seeing them grow, and then you're seeing them create relationships amongst each other where they're encouraging people they wouldn't typically even talk to. Providing the men with an education and a second chance. I'm an educator, so as an educator, I believe second chances are really important. A second chance for guys like Michael or Scotty or Rick. There's a great many who would say, throw them in there, throw away the key. But there's truly a movement of, frankly, mercy and grace and giving a second chance and saying, maybe we give this guy an opportunity and see what he does with it. They don't let each other fail. And it's a change that prison staff like Brian Eskew are seeing firsthand. They'll cross racial lines, gang lines, stuff like that to help each other. And, and study with each other. And that's something that has really transformed the prison culture, at least here at Corcoran. Here at Corcoran, where Jose and Jimmy keep on learning, despite being at very different points in their life. Jimmy has been in and out of Corcoran twice. If they only have one door to go through, that's the only door they're going to go through the rest of their life. And that's why it's always been a bad place here. Now that they provide us education, they give us another door. And Jose has been incarcerated since he was 16. This allows you to have some type of... Hope. He's now 20. So this is showing you what this program is doing. From 16 to 20, within four years, he's in turn into a whole nother man. And I work with him daily. Close, it was every day we're study partners, and I see it. He's matured in a four-year period because of this program. The study partners both have a chance to get out someday. Nobody wants to live in prison. You know, nobody wants to be bad. A lot of times it's what you have available to you. But now they do have something available. So they'll keep learning from the past. Okay. And learning in the present to get them ready for the future. In Corcoran. The Northwest? Northwest. Northwest. Brandon Johansson, 23 ABC News. Now, after completing this program at Corcoran and earning their AA degree, inmates can apply to transfer to the prison in Lancaster, where they can earn a bachelor's degree through Cal State Los Angeles. I like that. Very impressive. Very nice job with that, Brandon.